Sekhmet's children to Sekhmet's Healing Kitchen. I am Sekhmet's Fire Sun. And today, we are revisiting this oil that you and I made together last month. And I promised you that I would come back in six weeks. This was ready yesterday. Today is the 19th of August. This is my flowers, powders, and herbals extreme hair growth oil for thinning mature hair. And what we going to do with this? We are going to make a leave-in conditioner. So if you're interested, then stick around to make your own leave-in conditioner. Don't forget to subscribe. And those that have, I want to thank you. Make sure you like this video so that it can be seen across the YouTube world. Please hit that notification bell so you may be notified when I upload the next one. Be right back. Coming back, Sekhmet's children, to another exciting video with Sekhmet's of Fire Sun from Sekhmet's Healing Kitchen. And I am about growing my mature, thin hair. I just washed it this morning and it's still wet, but of course we will put more, more water because I'm going to show you how we're going to make this awesome leave-in conditioner by utilizing my flowers powder, herbal, extreme hair growth oil. We have 15 to 16 herbs in this oil that has been soaking for six weeks. And I promised you that we would revisit it. We have two phases for this leave-in conditioner. We have a water phase and we have an oil phase. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you so how I'm going to utilize three roots that are perfect for growing mature thinning hair. And even though I keep saying mature thinning hair, of course this can grow any hair. So if it can grow an old woman's hair, you know these herbs can grow a young person's hair. We have sarsaparilla root, burdock root, and dandelion root. Before we start mixing things up, stay tuned for the next clip and I will be and I will be sharing with you the properties of each of these roots, how to grow thinning mature hair. Burdock root contains vitamin A, which can help nourish the scalp and strengthen hair. The burdock root has been used in traditional medicine for detoxifying the system and purifying the blood. In addition to promoting hair growth, burdock root helps with scalp irritation issues such as dandruff and itchy scalp. Sarsaparilla root has a ton of nutrients, including selenium and iron. It is also suggested for a variety of problems related to the skin and hair. Sarsaparilla has also been shown to be powerful to help grow and regrow the hair. The indigenous Americans used it for this very purpose. Dandelion root stimulates hair growth. It is a rich source of vitamin A, C, and E, as well as B-complex vitamins. Because dandelion root is rich in iron, this keeps dandruff at bay. All right, Sekhmet's children, so you, so you saw how powerful these herbs are and why I'm using them. Now I'm going to bring you down so we can extract our flowers, powders, and herbal extreme hair growth oil. All right. And you guys do remember when I made this, I'm sure you do. Okay. 
And so since if you guys forgot, I will have the video on how to make this oil. Look how rich. Well, you could put more oil on them. That's what I'm going to do. Let this sit for another six weeks. And then if you didn't want to reuse them, you can always put them, give them back to the earth. When we take care of mother earth, mother earth takes care of us. But I will be using this some more because it's still oil in it, you know. So I'm putting, I'm putting, so I'm showing you what I'm doing. I'm putting this back in here because we still have some oil in this. And so we, I'm going to put this back up underneath, put some more oil on it and let it set for another six weeks. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. <laughs> Okay. All right, sick miss children. We've extracted all the richness from the, the flowers, powders, and herbs. And this is going to be making our leave-in conditioner for mature thinning hair. All right, so now we're going to move on to the water phase. Okay, you guys saw the properties of sarsaparilla root. So I'm going to take a tablespoon of sarsaparilla root. A tablespoon of burdock root. And a tablespoon of dandelion root. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, guys. Tablespoon. So we have sarsaparilla, burdock, and dandelion root. Okay, second Miss Children, we're going to pour hot water on the burdock root, sarsaparilla root, and the dandelion root up to two-thirds of water and we are going to let that sit for about 20 minutes while we're waiting for that to to steep we are going to move on to the oil phase all right sick miss children we are in the kitchen i boiled the water already as you can you know you see the steam so the first thing we're going to use we're going to use an emulsifying wax and the reason we're using an emulsifying wax is because emulsifying waxes help water and oil to combine together you will need two and three quarter teaspoons. So that's one teaspoon. That's two teaspoons. And because I don't have a, I don't have a three quarter teaspoon, I do have a one quarter teaspoon. So we need three of these. One. two, three. Remember my flowers, powders, herbal, extreme hair growth oil? We just need two teaspoons of that. Okay, we need two teaspoons. 
one, two. One teaspoon of shea butter. This, this brand is very creamy. I've never, all the other shea butters I got have been very hard. This one's creamy, which is awesome. I'm gonna turn the heat on so everything can melt. A half a teaspoon of mango butter. So we're melting this. All right, so that's nice and melted. Let's get back to our water phase. All right, sick Miss Children, our teas are ready. Burdock root, sarsaparilla root, and dandelion root. <clears throat> and it smells nice. Nice and earthy. Mm. I love it. Also, to our water, we are going to add one tablespoon of food grade vegetable glycerin. And let me give you the benefits of vegetable glycerin for hair. The benefits of vegetable glycerin for hair is a natural compound that has a property of retaining water, which makes it useful as a moisturizer for your hair because glycerin prevents flaking and prevention of dandruff, it promotes hair growth. It's, it's heavy, guys. Okay, all right. So we're gonna stir that up right quick. <clears throat> Let's get every little bit we can. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stir that up. And now we are going to add our oil. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up. And now I'm going to use the stick blender. While we are blending the water and oils together, let me give you the benefits of the emulsifying wax, mango butter, and shea butter. The benefits of emulsifying wax is the most widely used emulsifier in the cosmetic industry due to its ability to perfectly blend creams and lotions that contain oil and water. It helps to improve the consistency and texture of the final product without leaving a greasy film on the skin or hair after use. Mango butter. It is great at reducing dandruff by regenerating healthy cells through its moisture rich properties. Mango butter is extremely helpful for healthy hair growth 
by reducing breakage and restoring elasticity to the hair strands. Shea butter is an anti-inflammatory and it provides healing to the scalp without clogging the pores. Segments children after 10 minutes, it still was not thick enough for me and I realized why. It's because I should have allowed the tea to cool off for at least an hour or so. So my suggestion to you, if you're going to make a tea or use hot water, make sure it is cool before you start making your conditioner. Okay, sake, my children, um, I am going to put this in the refrigerator because I blended for over 10 minutes and it's, it's gotten thicker, but it's not thick enough. <laughs> so we will be back. I let it sit in the refrigerator for about 25 minutes. I'm going to start again. So you see how nice and thick that is? Wait a minute, we got to go back. <laughs> I, I got ahead of myself. I got to put the Optifin Plus in here. That's the preservative because we're using water. It needs to be preserved. But that's okay. I like making mistakes so you guys can understand that I am not perfect, that this is real life. This is not, this is real TV. <laughs> This is your reality show right here <laughs> in Sekhmet's Kitchen. Okay. This is real TV. All right. So what we're going to do, we are going to mix one teaspoon of Optifin. I got all excited. <laughs> I got a hit of myself. We're going to take one teaspoon of Optifin, Optifin Plus. It is a preservative. What I like about Optifin Plus, it is paraben free. And what I love about Optifin Plus, it is a natural preservative. It is free of formaldehyde. No pH restriction. <laughs> So yeah, so we gonna mix this baby up some more. We gonna mix it, mix it, mix it. <laughs> and we are going to add my favorite essential oils that I always use to grow my hair, cloves. And, and please comment below, Sekhmet's children, if you would like to know the properties of these essential oils on how, why do I use them to grow my hair? Yes, clove. Peppermint. This is peppermint. And cinnamon. And cinnamon. I love using these three. I use it to and just to put it in my distilled water. Yeah. I um 
These are my favorite because I love clove and cinnamon anyway. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And peppermint, of course. I drink peppermint tea on a regular basis. Okay. And like I said, as it sits, I'm sure it will get thicker. Because we just added some more liquid in here. And remember, it's a conditioner, guys. It's a leave-in conditioner. So you would like, you know, it's nice to have a, a liquefied hair conditioner. So you don't even have to put it in here. You can actually put it in an application bottle. So hold on. I'm going to see if I can find an application bottle for you guys. I'll be back. Okay, sec Miss Children, I couldn't find my application bottles. Here's a small squeeze bottle. I'm going to put it in here. Hmm. How are we going to do this? We'll do it like this. How about that? And it's preserved, so you don't have to worry about it being spoiled because you have your Optifin Plus. But if you don't have Optifin, Optifin Plus, then make sure you put it in the refrigerator and don't make so much. Just make enough for... Um, one application. Okay. All righty. Okay. All right. So like I said, I washed my hair this morning. It's still damp in parts, but not enough. And I showed you guys I believe in the other video, the last week's video, how I I use this in my water, which is Lily of the Desert, which a very is which is a very powerful organic company that works with aloe vera, and so they make a, a they call it a jelly. It's ninety nine percent aloe vera jelly, but this company they are very reputable. Lily of the Desert. So um, you, um, they only use organic aloe vera. I wasn't pleased with the consistency. It was just too watery for me. And so I will suggest not to use two third cups of, of liquid. I will suggest to use like one third cup of liquid. Also, if I was to make this particular one again, it would be best to use right after you wash your hair. But I wouldn't recommend it for just an everyday leave-in conditioner. I will use this runny one when I will wash, after I wash my hair.
as children, I decided to, um, this is my old, um, extreme hair growth oil. So now I'm, I'm adding the new one that we just made. Yeah. So here we go. So I'm gonna go through here like this and do some of that. And that's another thing you could do. You could use your oil. If you make your conditioner too watery, just get you some oil. Because um, we really, I'm finding out that we don't really have to put oil on our scalp. It's mostly the hair that needs it. And I use um, avocado oil and um, castor oil mostly in this oil, as you guys saw. So, um, yeah. Remember I told you I was going to reuse the herbs. So I put some more avocado oil in this and I put some argan oil also. I want to thank you so much, Sekmex children, for watching my flowers, powders, herbal, extreme hair growth oil to make a leave-in conditioner for thinning mature hair. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And those that have, I want to thank you ever so much. Please like this video so that it can be seen across the YouTube world. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload the next one. Remember to love yourself unconditionally without judgment. Until next time.